Hello friends and neighbors here in Babcock Ranch and those of you who are listening in online on the website or on Facebook, uh, welcome to Psalms with a hint of Shruti. If this is your first time joining us, uh, we'll read through a psalm and the backdrop will be the Shruti box, which is a drone instrument. It's a, an instrument used for meditation. This, this instrument comes from India. Uh, in fact, this particular instrument uh, was, was made in India. Uh, today I have the A sharp and the C sharp valves open. So it's much like an accordion if you look at it. Uh, it is an air bellows that pushes through uh, these valves here. Our psalm reading is very short today, Psalm 133. Uh, so I'm going to invite you to listen to two different readings. One is from the New Living, New Living Translation, uh, and the other comes from the paraphrase that is the message. Uh, so I'll invite you to listen to those two, and you'll, you'll know the difference. You'll hear the difference in the two, um, and, and I want you to pick up on that. And we may just briefly talk about that when we're done. But let's begin our time together with a word of prayer. Almighty God, we come to you in this absolutely beautiful place, this place that you've given us to dwell, um, this lake, Sunset Lake here in Babcock Ranch. We thank you for the air, the water, the sunshine that, um, that pours down, for all of the animals, the creation that surrounds us, all a gift from you. We would ask, God, that you would inspire us to be better stewards of these gifts that you have given us. And that the Holy Spirit would stir in us that we could live together in peace, in harmony. You are the source of peace, God. And we call upon you now to fill us with that peace, that it would overflow to all of those around us and to all of this beautiful creation. Be with us now. Holy Spirit, come. We ask all of this in the name of our precious Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. So again, we'll be reading Psalm 133, and let's go ahead and begin. I may have to stop between readings just to get myself organized. So I invite you to, to listen. How wonderful and pleasant it is when brothers live together in harmony. For harmony is as precious as the anointing oil that was poured over Aaron's head, that ran down his beard and onto the border of his robe. Harmony is as refreshing as the dew from Mount Hermon that falls on the mountains of Zion. And there, the Lord has pronounced his blessing, even life everlasting. That was Psalm 133 from the New Living Translation. Next we'll read Psalm 133 from the message. And I've affectionately decided to call the winds here in Babcock Ranch the breezes of Babcock, because they're, they're ever-present, so we have to accept them. Psalm 133 from the message. How wonderful, how beautiful, when brothers and sisters get along. It's like costly anointing oil flowing down head and beard flowing down Aaron's beard, flowing down the collar of his priestly robes. It's like the dew on Mount Hermon, flowing down the slopes of Zion. Yes, that's where God commands the blessing, ordains eternal life. So two readings from Psalm 133, and you'll notice one, the last reading from the message, has a more uh, inclusive language, so brothers and sisters. But all of this to say, this peace, this harmony, is for all people. This is the new command from Christ, that we love one another as Christ loves us. Until I see you again, wherever that might be, my friends, peace be with you. Amen.